action. Good morning, dragons! Welcome back to school today on this wonderful Wednesday. I hope your day is off to a great start. We're here this morning to talk about David. But drinky. That's right, folks. David. But drinky. If you're in your classrooms, every time I say David, you say Badriki, okay? So we're I'm talking this morning to you about David. Badriki. And he is coming in because um next Tuesday, because we have never had an author, like a real legit author. Like this is somebody who he was actually an illustrator for years and then decided to write his own children's books and start it. And he has written over 50 different children's books himself on top of the hundreds and hundreds that he has illustrated over the years. So he is actually the author and illustrator. So Mr. David Padricki is coming on Tuesday. And so we're going to have Tuesday, he's here with us. And Wednesday, he's here with us. Thursday and Friday, he's here with us. So he's here with us for four days. So teachers, how that's going to work. Um, I've sent out to grade level chairs um, the David Badriki schedule. So you should know when your time is. Everybody in the whole school gets a one-hour presentation with him. And it will start that Tuesday. Um, and we're going to do, um, the first two days, like one day, all the principals are coming to have lunch with them. And then another day, the specials teachers and Miss Stem are coming to have lunch with them. But then on Thursday and Friday, here we go. Whoever has the most AR points from your class, second grade, you will come and have lunch with David. Badriki! That's right, folks, David Badriki. Um, and so Team A will be Thursday and Team B will be Friday. And that's for second grade friends. And Sully Atkins' mom is making us the most adorable cookies. So we'll have those for everybody, too. So we're super excited about that. So he's coming. Who's coming? David who? Badriki! Badriki! And when he comes, I want everybody, like, when you when you walk in, Hi, Mr. Badriki! I mean, he will be so excited. Um, Miss Jessica and I have shirts we're going to wear, the same shirt for four days. Very exciting. We will wash it every day. But to build excitement, he said that he's never had a school um, sell as many books as we did, nor have made shirts or hosting lunch with him every day. He's so excited to eat lunch with these second graders. So so keep rocking the AR. We are fully functioned back in the library. So if you read a book, come and take an AR test and get, come get a new book. Like, and just keep rocking it on, okay? Because you'll have team A will have until Wednesday to decide. Like Wednesday at 3 o'clock, I'll figure out who has the most points from each class for um, the Thursday lunch. And then if you're team B, you have till Thursday at three o'clock and that'll be um, who comes for lunch on Friday with David. Badriki. Okay, I wanna share with you some of his books um, cause I just got my big order in yesterday from Cumberbatch, no, it's not too big, but the first part of it. Um, so I shared with you me and my dragon already. So we now have two additional copies of those. So um, just so you know, for future reference, we do have me and my dragon Christmas spirit. And then we've had me and my dragon, the Halloween special. So those I will share with you when the time, like Christmas time or the holidays and then Halloween. Um, the one I'm going to start with you today is one I had not read before. It is called Ace Lace Wing Bug Detective The Big Swat. Okay, so this is actually a character of Mr. Badriki. Thank you, friends, Badriki. Um, Ace Lace Wing, the bug detective. He is, um, and this is AR. I'll be telling you the number in just a second. So, this is a whole series, um, more Ace Adventures. There's the original one, and then there's another one called Bad Bugs Are My Business, and I've ordered those, and they're coming. Okay. Let me turn my mic. Okay, teachers, AR quiz number 137548. Again, that was 137548. Okay, so here we go. Ace Lacewing Bug Detective, the Big Swat. Okay, now I have to show you. This is a 
bug a tron um like instead of a jumbotron like we're getting a big jumbotron over at the jefferson memorial stadium for football games theirs is called a bug tron so that's just kind of funny okay here we go you know it's springtime in motham city uh -huh, instead of gotham city like batman when little bugs are playing in the street Butterfly gardens are in full bloom, and our hometown team, the Stink Bugs, is in last stinking place. But not this year. A rookie named Bugsy Goldwing has the whole team, has the whole town a buzz. So they've got this brand new player, and he is all a buzz. My gal and I are big stink bug fans. We are counting the days to the playoffs and when a gorgeous damselfly fluttered into my office. Her name was Madame Damselfly and she was a legend in Motham City, a no-nonsense lady with a heart of gold and a wicked curveball. Hundreds of hard luck bugs had grown up in her little larva orphanage and more than a few ended up in the bug leagues. She'd known Bugsy ever since he was a little stinker. Bugsy has a problem, detective, said the damselfly. Okay, so there he is. Ace, lacewing, bug detective. And then here is Madam Damselfly. Okay, so she, there's a problem. Okay. Madam Damselfly showed us an old picture. Hey, that's Bugsy's lucky bat, I blurted out. We saw him swat a huge home run with it against the Chicago Grubs last night. It's a genuine, one-of-a-kind autographed Lou Earwig Big Swat bat, said Madame. All my boys wanted it, so I held a home run contest and Bugsy won the bat fair and square. I taught my boys to be good sports detective, but that bat made them all jealous. Bugs will be bugs, said Exercis with a smile with a sigh. Bugsy got the worst of it. Most of the time stink bugs well stink. The other bugs teased him, but that didn't bother Bugsy. It made him try harder. He practiced with that bat all the time, even though it was bigger than he was. I always used to tell him, it's not the size of the bat, it's the size of your heart. Bugsy has a big heart. So what's the problem, I asked. Last night after the game, someone stole the bat, said the damselfly. Bugsy called me this morning and asked for my help. That bat's worth a fortune, detective, but it means more than that to Bugsy. He's very superstitious. He thinks he can't hit without it. You've got to find it, she said. I stepped up to the plate and took the case. First stop, New Stink Bug Stadium. Dun, dun, dun. So there it is. There's all of her little bugs. And there's the bat. So someone has taken the bat. Coach Pee Wee Reeks was tossing batting practice to Bugsy when I arrived. A tragic flypaper accident had squashed Pee Wee's baseball career and left him with a peg leg, but he still had something left of his fastball. It's no use, Coach. I need my bat back, Bugsy moaned. You don't need it. That Lou Earwig bat to hit, said Pee Wee. It's all in your head, kid. It's all in your head. Bugsy smiled when I mentioned Madam Damselfly. I love her, detective. She's like a mother to me, he said. I asked him if he knew who might have taken his bat. I don't know, he said. I put it in my locker after the game last night. Today it was gone. Everyone knows I can't hit without it. Bugsy sighed and trugged away to join his team. The pill bugs rolled over the stink bugs six to zero. Bugsy struck out four times. I headed to the locker room afterward to look for clues. Okay, and that is where we're gonna leave off. We're gonna continue reading it tomorrow. So the famous bat is missing. He's talked to Bugsy. Bugsy doesn't have any idea who the suspects are, so we will see what happens tomorrow in Ace Lacewing the Big Swat. Okay, friends, um, so 
I'm going to start sharing these books with you every day because I just want you to be so excited because what an honor and privilege that it's going to be to have Mr. David Badriki. David Badriki here with us at Jefferson Elementary for four full days. Okay, um, this was left on the playground. Does it look familiar to anyone? Um, it is an Axel the Truck, the Beach Race. If you bought this at the book fair, you also bought Predator Face Off, Deadliest Animals, Alien Ocean Animals, and Sharks Can't Smile, and other amazing facts. So, if you bought all those books, we have one of your books that you left on the playground. So, thank goodness someone rescued it before the rain came. Okay, announcement friends, come on over. Good morning, dragons. Today is day four on our special rotations. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now time for a moment of silence. Thank you. We are the Jeff. Thank you. We are the Jefferson Elementary School Dragons, and we wore. We are respectful. We are on task. We are and ready. We are always safe. We are responsible, and together we can make a difference. Have a great, Have a great day, day, dragons.